Welcome to a 1UP 3D Blender tutorial. This is going to be part one of a set of texturing tutorials I'll be making to demonstrate methods of making common textures using GIMP and very little artistic ability being necessary. In this tutorial we'll make some a stone texture. and This will be two parts. First we'll just make the stone texture and then the second part we're going to make a stone tile or a wall, something like that. So let's get started by opening GIMP. If you don't already have GIMP, I recommend pausing and going and getting it. It's a very useful program. It's a must-have if you're using Blend Blender. All right. So we're gonna open up a new new image. I'm gonna make it 800 by 800. Since we're gonna be trying to create a seamless texture. We're going to fill with transparency. Okay. Just going to resize this a little bit. I'm going to put that at 50. Alright. First off, we're going to need to decide on our kind of color range. If you have, if you found an image that um, has the right look to it that you want, you can go to File and open it as a layer and then use the color picker to select colors off of it and go from there but since I just haven't selected a I'm going to be making up the colors as I go so we're going to select it and I'm going to go with a gray base just to make sure we don't have any weird looking rock come out of us alright I'm going to add a new layer with transparency. I'm going to select another color. I'm going to select kind of a bluish color to add a little flare to the stone. We're going to use the lasso tool to randomly select some area and delete that. And now we're going to go back and go through it again much smaller to chop it up a bit get it really random looking All right. you hit enter to select and delete to delete it and then control shift A will deselect All right, so now we're gonna go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur and I'm gonna turn this up to 200 Alright, as you can tell you can barely see it right now. We're going to go to noise, HVS noise, and make sure you have a spot where some of it is. It's going to be kind of hard to tell, but you know, turn these up until you can see the noise. Alright, now we're going to do the same thing with a different color. So... Let's see. Well, kind of a light brownish orange color. Just kind of doing this randomly. I hope it turns out. And we're going to do the same process. I'm going to pause while I do that. All right. So we got that now, and we're going to do that a couple more times with different colors. I'm going to go ahead and select the colors to give you guys kind of an example of kind of colors you should grab. I'm going to grab a brown. You're going to want to make sure you don't have too much of the brown otherwise your rock can come out just looking like dirt. So we're going to add another one and we're going to make this a dark gray to make sure that it has a grayish stone look. And all that really is dependent on what kind of stone you're making. So I'm going to pause again and um, do that same process. Alright, we're back and we have our layers done. We're going to go to them and we're going to go to the layer menu, select merge down. And um, since we don't have any other layers that we're going to be using on there yet, we can go to actually go to image flatten. But if you have any other image, any other layers that you're doing something else on and you want to keep that would flatten them to it so yeah 
In this case you can do it, but lots of times you're going to want to go to Merge Down. Alright, we're going to create a new layer and go to White. Alright, we're going to go to Filter, Render Clouds, and this is going to be our bump map that we're going to be using to create the detail. So, I usually go to Randomize on this, and let's see, the more you the higher up you do this, the more details in it and the rougher it looks, the rougher your rock will look. If you move these, if you move them this way, both of them at the same time this way, then the clouds will become smaller, giving you more of a bumpy look. This way they'll get larger and you'll have a smoother look to it and I usually don't use these two. I haven't found a use for them yet, but if you do that's great. I'm going to change these to six just because I, I know that's kind of a good spot for it. Alright. Alright. Now I'm going to move this below our stone layer. And right now for our next um, tutorial we're gonna go and we're gonna save this as an XCF, a blender or a GIMP file so that we can come back and edit it from this point right, name it what you want and put it where you want just remember where it's at because we're gonna use it in the next tutorial I'm just gonna put it on my desktop all right, and so from here we're going to go to map, pump map. And we're going to move this to the stone, the cloud layer. And we're gonna move the depth up on this, possibly the elevation down. Move it to where you like, and you can change a map type. And see, there's a slight difference between them. Um, I like sensoidal; it gets you more of a rough, rocky look. And if you are feeling like this is too bright, you can take off compensate for darkness, for darkening, and it'll basically add more shadows and stuff to it. And I think this one looks good like this, so we're going to hit OK. See, there we have a rock texture. And final thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to map, go to make seamless, and now it can tile and you won't be able to see any seam lines between it and this one actually turned out really well sometimes you can see more of a um, definitive line right in here and we're gonna go and save this as a JPEG to do that with the new um, new GIMP you have to go to export and we can just save it as a um, PNG right now so we'll do that Alright, now let's open up Blender real fast and take a look at how that looks. Alright, I'm just going to add it onto the stone. First we're going to turn on the GSL. Alright. I'm going to create a new texture. Alright. I have that saved on my desktop. We're running out of time here, so I'll try to hurry up. Alright. There's our texture on a, on a block. And if you go to UV here, you can see how you can move it up, and it's just repeated a bunch of times. And it looks pretty good even when it's being repeated. So there you go. Um, let me know if you have any questions, and we'll see you again in the next tutorial where, we'll, where we'll, we will make a kind of a stone wall. All right. 
Thank you. Bye.